my level of success isn't Instagram worthy. I don't drive a Lamborghini. I don't burn money. I don't do a lot of stupid stuff with my money. I honestly have a very small wardrobe. I drive an old ass truck and I try to save as much as I can because I'm just pretty average. But when did average become a bad thing? I think we're used to seeing people who are extremely successful or pretend to be extremely successful, flaunting all their money, their jewelry, their cars, their houses, and all the nice extravagant lavish things that they show off. But the truth is that many of us would be very happy just accomplishing average level success. At least speaking for myself, I know that while I would like to have enough money to have the freedom to do the things that I want. I don't want to buy all those things that you see social media influencers flaunting. And I don't really care for a lot of that stuff. Sure, I want to have some money to be able to maybe buy a nicer car or buy a nicer house. But at the end of the day, there's only so much that you can earn and so much that you can have that will bring you joy because joy doesn't really come from material things. Most people will tell you that. And I'm starting to learn that myself. And really my biggest thing with trying to make more money is trying to gain financial freedom just so I can be able to enjoy a little bit more of my time and do the things I want rather than the things I need to do in order to pay my bills. Rather than have a job, I'd rather be able to find things that I thought were interesting and figure out ways that I can make money doing those things or how I can monetize different things that I do enjoy and find ways to make money off of pet projects and little endeavors that I want to pursue rather than having to clock into a job every day. But when we see a lot of this extravagant success on the internet, it makes us feel insignificant. It makes us feel like the things that we've accomplished aren't good enough. And it makes me specifically feel like I'm just not where I want to be in life. And the truth is I am light years beyond anywhere I ever imagined I could have been in life. And I'm constantly making strides to get further ahead. And sometimes that burns me out and sometimes it's it's a lot of work and I'm glad that I'm doing it. I'm glad that I have that drive now because for a long time in my life I didn't have that kind of ambition. And now that I do have that ambition and I'm kind of playing catch up in life, it feels like I'm never going to get there. But that goal post isn't really clear to me sometimes because I do see people that are so successful that I feel like I can never get to that point in my life. I'm never gonna be a Jeff Bezos. I'm never gonna be an Elon Musk. I'm probably never gonna make a hundred million dollars a year, but I could potentially make a few million dollars in the next 10 years and save that up and hopefully retire early. Or if it doesn't work out, still, try to make more money and then save that up so then when I do retire, I can have a comfortable retirement and not have to work for the rest of my life. And that right there is pretty successful. Considering that so many people nowadays live paycheck to paycheck and so many people are hand to mouth and there's a lot of people that don't have anything. I grew up with a single mother. I didn't have much. I didn't even have my own bedroom until the time I was 17 years old. My room was basically the living room and you know, my bed was the couch for the most part until I was 17. And that's pretty crazy to think of considering that I sold a four bedroom house that was, you know, 2,400 square foot with a big ass swimming pool in the middle of Las Vegas. And I sold that house to buy another house. And then I sold that house and I made a profit on that. And I've got money now. And it's weird because I still feel like I, I need to keep chasing more because my success feels so average that it doesn't feel like it's enough. And honestly, I don't think it's enough for what I'm trying to accomplish, but it's still a major success for me considering where I came from. And I know some people look at me and actually probably think differently of my success than I think of my own success. And I think that that's just one of those things that just constantly is going to feel that way for you. No matter what, as long as you keep moving that needle, as long as you keep moving that goalpost, your definition of success is only going to be whatever you make it. So try not to overlook your successes, even if they're average, even if they feel mediocre and try not to think too much of your failures. Don't let your failures define you because if you do that then you're going to be stuck thinking that you're that person and thinking that you're never going to be good enough and then when you do gain some success you're not going to be happy with it you're going to feel like you still need more and that's kind of where I'm at right now and it's weird because I'm trying to balance that stuff and I'm trying to realize that I'm in a really good spot I have a loving family I have a great wife I have two wonderful kids I have a great job a great career I've got zero debt I'm like in the best spot that I can be in but I still feel like it's just so average and I still feel like there's just so much more that I want to do that I'm I'm just never gonna get there and I get overwhelmed by it and I and I've talked about it in other videos and I know that with time I can get to what I want to achieve but 
I have to be realistic with my goals and I can't be too disappointed when my success is just average. And I guess it's good to keep striving towards better things and to try to achieve all your goals and to try to accomplish what you're setting out to do. But at the same time, you gotta step back sometimes and be happy with what you've got. And even though you may see people who are way more successful than you are and may be in a better position than you are, Remember that it's okay to have average levels of success. Not all of us are gonna be extraordinary and we gotta be all right with that. I gotta learn to be okay with that. I gotta understand that it's just a process and some people are luckier than others. Some people are better set up from their childhood. Some people work their asses off their whole life and don't have anything. And some people are just at the right place at the right time and end up getting filthy rich. Whatever it is, set your goals, get to them, be happy with your success, learn from your failures, and don't ever let someone else's grand success make your success feel inadequate. Because any success is good, and having average success is better than having no success at all. With that said, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. Hopefully everyone out there gets to experience some level of success at some point in their life, because it is really good to see yourself progress and see yourself get better and see yourself build up a net worth and see yourself grow as a human being and it's it's a wonderful thing so don't get too caught up trying to keep up with the joneses and all the people that you see on social media who are flaunting all their success because sometimes it may not be all that it seems to be and be happy with your success even if it is average that's something i'm trying to learn and hopefully by me sharing this it helps you stay on track to finding your success all right, with all that said, I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.